everyone how are you doing we welcome you all to the first hands on video impressions installation experience and official changes demo of the build 14283.100 microsoft has pushed this build yesterday to uh, the devices which shipped with windows 10 mobile in fast ring so if you are a windows insider in fast ring and uh, you are rocking a device like lumia 550 lumia 650 lumia 950 950 xl or uh, alcatel one touch then you should be able to upgrade to this build now uh, coming to the installation experience the installation experience was pretty smooth for us it took around 55 minutes for us from uh, downloading started from starting to download the build to finally data migration so for download it took around uh, 20 to 25 minutes for installation and data migration around 30 to 35 minutes and it went pretty smoothly so seems that microsoft has figured out how to uh, push a build and do a proper smooth mic uh, update in case of redstone builds so now uh, coming to the first impressions first impressions are quite positive for this build it's quite smooth actually surprisingly it is very very smooth so i mean there are known issues with this build which you could read uh, at nokia power user but then if you just use it like we are using it for maybe like two three hours and we could see that it's quite fine i mean it works really good so we will do hands on and then make you can uh, make up your mind how do you think it works so let's see the camera working okay, let's send it back to background then we can open other apps One thing that we have noticed is that in this build, uh, the settings, uh, they, they open really very, very fast, even for a device, uh, I mean, budget and device. And we, we are seeing this in comparison to the threshold builds. It's really faster. So Microsoft has seems uh, optimized it more. As you can see it's quite fast very fast actually we are impressed So to me it looks like a surprise package there may be known issues bugs etc but if you talk about the bills uh, i mean bills performance really good very fast actually it works well we can see some uh, we can do a bit of multitasking test as well so here is a here is a new insider hub okay let's open some more apps maybe kotana resume is quite good actually We can test the browser as well.
So as you can see the Microsoft Edge has got a new version. If we go to advanced setting there are nothing there is like nothing much to much new to talk about. You see the familiar settings there. Let's check the HTML5 score quickly, whether it has made any advances, any changes. Now similar, I mean same score, but it says H14. So maybe the age version had changed. Okay, so this is how it works, the build uh, in our experience or in our hands-on, it has been quite good, smooth and fast. So as you can see that uh, during our hands-on, there is like uh, nothing, I mean, I, we could not see any crash, any freeze. And we, we opened uh, many of the apps, etc. So in that way, it really is good actually. We are, uh, I mean, surprised to see that uh, the redstone... Uh, the initial builds are really smooth, so Microsoft may be uh, focusing on keeping the builds smooth as the development goes on. Okay, now coming to the official changes, so we you, you can see our, uh, you can watch our video where we have demoed some unknown changes which are not covered under the official change log. But here we will just go through the official change log ch changes which were uh, posted by Microsoft. So one of the changes was that uh, you will see counter here so if there is one missed call or something then uh, it should i mean a number should appear which can tell you that there is one missed call or two missed call like that so here and uh, for visual vo for voicemail also there should be some kind of counter here but since we don't have anything here so uh, i mean if in case you will uh, you have that uh, i mean you have a missed call or something you should be able to see it now coming to outlook mail there are changes which last uh, update brought so one of the changes that you can actually uh, long press and move to jump easily. Another important change is that you can actually uh, disable or enable the show preview text from here. Apart from that, if you uh, now go to Insider Hub, so uh, when we opened it, there was a message saying that uh, welcome to the feedback hub. So it seems that uh, like like it was mentioned in the official change log that uh, from next or next to next build may br uh, bring that feedback hub, which will combine the feedback app and insider hub. So that's so that would be a welcome change for us, we think. So these were the official changes that those were mentioned. As we said, for uh, the changes which are not covered under the official change log, you can better go and watch our other video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We will bring more. Uh, there may be some bugs, issues with this build because a uh, development branch build. If we find any, we will obviously report. So uh, with this demo, you can actually make up your mind and you can feel that how this build works. So with that, we'll again say thanks for watching. Stay tuned.